you want toast? No, OK, I'm going to go for these things. Oh, and just so you know, this is milk I've got on here. It's not whiskey. Look, I'm sorry, all right? I should have trusted you. Morning. 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 Look, I wanted to say sorry again about yesterday. I shouldn't have suggested there was something going on between me dad and Tyre. Last thing I want to do is cause any trouble between you two. OK, we've done all this, haven't we? Whatever happened to just saying sorry and moving on? Well, gone the same way as video recorders and white dog mess, a thing of the past. Simon, do you want some breakfast? Your dad's had the cornflakes, but uh, I quite fancy the bald egg. Yeah, sounds good. Really? Oh, good. Well, crack on then, and uh, I'll have some soldiers and all. I'll just finish this. I taught you better than that. You walk straight into that. Mm. Rubbish. Oh. What's wrong? It's bad news. I don't know. Sarah wants to see me before work this morning. She says it's important. Well, maybe she's tracked down that money that Steve stole from the factory. Just a casual inquiry. Are you going to sit like that all morning? Oh. I don't know, love. I might cross my legs in a minute and scratch my private part. <laughs> Has anyone got any deodorant? I've, uh, I've used mine. You've used mine, you mean? Simon, ask Simon. Where have you been anyway, you dirty stop out? I didn't hear you come in. Uh, it's like a ninja, that lad, isn't it? I went out with Crystal. What? Crystal, that selfish cow. Carla. You must be mad. She shot off so fast after your attack, she left skid marks. Don't say skid marks while I'm at the breakfast table. Well, she did. Total waste of space, that girl. I'll get rid of her, are you? Carla! I might go and spend the day with Sarah. Have fun, everyone. Go on. How can my mummy be gone? How can it be gone? I don't know how else to explain it to you. It is vanished. It's disappeared. It's no more. Well, surely the bank knows where it is. Uh, the... It went to a bogus account, and that's the end of it. It's a classic scam tactic. Oh, I'm sure they could trace it down. That Robin lying, deceitful so, little... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just feel so guilty, and I feel so stupid. And, like, what he's done to you, I'm a gran, and she's just hey. trying to keep it together. Hey, hey, hey. Looking backwards is for the birds, OK? We both know that, right? It's just everybody knowing. Yes. It's everybody now thinking, well, what did the rest of them know? And, you know, Dave, he says he can't even handle the amount of customers he's got. It's because of all they want to talk about. Well, we need to get this order out. I need you front and centre, OK? Head on straight. What are we going to do about the money? They've not been paid for over a month. I will burn that bridge when it comes to it. Game face. Morning. Hey, while you're in there, ask her about our money, will you? I happen some of us have got ungrateful delinquents to bring up. Yeah, he'll be sorted, don't worry. Where's Beth? Um, she had to go to the doctors. Women's problems. Will she be back in after? I don't know. Oh, can you just text her and find out? We are really up against it today. Beth's all right, though, ain't she? Not serious. Um, that's all I know. Beth is at the doctors. Don't tell me women's problems. How did you guess? Great. Oh, well, don't blame her for She's not getting paid. Listen, the rest are grumbling too. What, what should we tell them? Because they're going to be on me, like white and rice, the second amount of it. Tell them I am working on it. I can't put them off forever. See, we don't have to, do we? As soon as we deliver this order, they will get paid. What, like, literally on delivery? Yes. I made it crystal clear to the client. Cash on delivery only, OK? But, Sarah, if we don't deliver, then nobody gets paid. And this place, I'll be done for. And I mean, absolutely finished. Kirk! Where the hell is Beth? I mean, she knows it's all hands to the pump today, doesn't she? Women's problems. No, you see, we use that excuse to a male boss and then he can't ask any more questions, but you can't use it on me. Hmm? I don't blame her for pulling a ticket. I mean, we must be mad working for free. 
You're not working for free. OK, let me explain it a different way for you, OK? <clears throat> so you have not given us any money. So it means that I cannot give Eileen my rent from last month. Uh-huh. It's all in hand. I went to see the bank. We had a meeting and they've told me that the money Stephen stole from all of us will be back in the account later. Oh, well, that's a relief. It's a bit more than that, Sal, for those of us who don't have it as comfy as you. Envy is a very ugly look on you, is he? Oz is that jumper. Well, I'm just grateful that I can pay my rent finally <laughs> and maybe afford myself a few small luxury morsels. Like food. Hey, I'm going to text Beth. This is great news. Yeah, might help her with our women's problems. But oh. I am going to have to ask you to stay and do overtime tonight. Oh! It's just till we get this order out. And then you can go and splash your cash any which way you like, can't you? Yeah. I can't believe you said that. What's a little white line in a crisis? Well, what are you going to do when you can't pay them later? Sarah, stop fretting, all right? I will think of something. Once we get this delivery out tomorrow, then they will get paid, so nobody will know any different, will they? Boy, would you uh, get that out for me pronto, that order, please? Um, there's a queue here. Oh, sorry, after you. No, it's not. I'm not buying anything. It's just, it's, you know, manners, isn't it, to ask? I'll oh. do it, Roy. Oh, thank you, thank you. Blimey, you must be hungry. Well, I've had them all. They're like gangbusters all morning, you know. Very generous. Listen, I will have them change their machines all day, so it's the least I can do, isn't it? Well, I can't send the gas into you lot. This rhubarb's not going to stew itself. Um, Carla, uh, could I, um, could I have a word? Um, I, I just wanted to say, I know that, um, you've been a bit upset about Peter confiding in me. Oh, Tyra, I've got more to worry about than... Peter talking to an ex, but thanks for caring. OK, cos I just wanted to reassure you that I've got no romantic interest in Peter whatsoever. You know, I, I fully respect your relationship and, well, as a trained counsellor, I totally understand and respect lines and boundaries and I would never cross them, so... Peter just needed to talk and I was a friend who was willing to listen. <laughs> oh, my God. Toya, thank you so much. I really needed that laugh. Uh, Nina, would you mind bringing those over, sweetie, when they're done, yeah? Just give me 20 minutes. Thank you. I'm really chasing my tail <laughs> She's not really the touchy-feely type. Mm. <sighs> All right. Housekeeper's day off, is it? Well, you know the drill, Chief. Everything to be ship shape Bristol fashion. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Oh, um, the crystal girl for her, eh? She didn't have any complaints. Oh, hello, hello. We're doing lads' banter now, are we? Eh? Well, I'm a bit out of practice with that, I'm afraid. I wanted the ground to swallow me up when Carla was slagging her off, but luckily she saw the funny side. So. Really? Because I hate to break it to you, I don't think she was joking, mate. Well, I'm seeing her again later. Aye, keen fella. I don't care what happened before, I think that's the whole point. Ah, don't look back. It's not the direction you're going. Like it. I like that. Is that one of your uh, catchphrases from your support group? Oh, mate, I've got loads of them. Oh! <laughs> right. Yeah, but it's good, mate. I mean, the thing is, you're moving on. Good for you. Thanks, mate. So, maybe now you can stop interfering in Daniel and Daisy's relationship. Ancient history. Yeah. Let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> 